Um, well, one of the things that they've already done, and I think it was tremendous, was the uh, aspect of the DMCA, or the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, that made it possible for a company like Google or a company like IMView to host um, material submitted by, um, by, by uh, other people um, and not have the company directly be liable for a copyright violation of those materials, um, so long as the company wasn't um, uh, itself directly um, uh, directly reviewing and profiting by that material. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, that sort of policy that enables companies to uh, to start up before encountering problems that prevent them from even starting, very important body of legislation, I think. I should think more about more <laughs> optimistically about all of the um, all of the positive things. Uh, and in fact, it's, it's hard to think about. Um, um, and negative things because, I mean, if you were in, in the automotive industry or the oil industry, then you have large fears looming ahead of you, um, or, um, um, you know, things, parts get more expensive and labor gets more expensive and things like that in the computer business. The very medium that we work on, right, in creating things like the metaverse gets cheaper and faster every year um, by enormous leaps and bounds, and that means that the types of things that we can do um, get uh, every year get uh, make astoundingly fast progress. Um, so it, it would be hard for me to even cite a worry given that I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of opportunity ahead. Well, um, when I started uh, there.com um, and when I also started uh, InView, um, I had uh, a, a, a similar vision of the future. Um, and that is the same, I think, um, enthusiasm that uh, Second Life and the other virtual world companies have had. Um, and that vision is that the, the types of things that we're working on are the types of things that can uh, be important on the scale of the next, of, of the entire century. Um, people are going to interact with people online. Uh, you can say is a, uh, a pretty unarguable statement. Um, if you're going to interact uh, with each other um, in a visual world, then you're going to have um, an, an avatar. That's what the definition of an avatar is, something representing you online visually. So creating the kinds of companies that create avatars um, is the sort of thing that will matter for the entire next century. And when you think of it, the kind of technology, creating a technology that can last a century, uh, that's an important uh, and incredibly unusual opportunity. Um, so when I think back of the last century, you know, I think what are say the, the five or six companies that make the biggest difference? And, you know, I might think, uh, well, Ford, um, Disney, uh, Microsoft, maybe for better or for worse, a few others, IBM. Uh, and when I think forward of this century, um, I'm convinced that one of the com companies that will be on the list of the top five will be a company that created avatars or virtual worlds, and it's a privilege to be uh, one of the candidates. Um, I think it's more incremental. So uh, um, I, I don't think of an individual event happening um, on uh, technology scale. Um, what I think uh, will happen is uh, a tipping point of uh, of participation among um, uh, uh, among people all over the world. So virtual worlds today, small business. Online games, um, relative to uh, virtual worlds, they're a large business. Relative to uh, real world economy, still very small business. So vision for what we're doing, large business, right? So we can imagine that the amount of interaction that people are having with each other online um, is uh, more hours a day than uh, their interaction uh, in the real world. Um, and as soon as you acknowledge that that's at least plausible, then you could acknowledge also that it is plausible that the uh, amount of commerce and the amount of um, um, 
objects or uh, virtual items that people own in the virtual world um, will be uh, as much as the amount of commerce or the amount of um, real objects in the real world that people own. So if you believe that, if you can buy that step number two, then the scale, the magnitude of the um, economic potential for companies in this virtual world space, um, when it becomes a mass market instead of a tiny little niche market, um, is absolutely astronomical. So when you ask what is the most important event that may happen, say, 10 years or more out, um, the, the event is the Malcolm Gladwell tipping point where um, instead of it just being a small minority of people who are playing around in virtual worlds, it's a small minority of technology Luddites that refuse to because you pretty much have to to um, um, be successful in the regular world. Sure, I, um, I think it, technology, particularly in the area of virtual worlds, will affect your life on many different levels. Uh, one of the levels is just who you are. And this is so significant. When you start out as a kid, and if you think of kids, they, they, they can be anything, right? And uh, they can be multiple things at once. You know, they dress up as a fireman. One day they're at school and then doing something else. There's somebody else on the soccer team. By the time you become an adult, right, you've pretty much trimmed off all of those possibilities of who you could have grown up to be or who you are. And you dress a certain way, you associate with a certain group of people, you use a certain language, you consider yourself um, fitting into society in a certain way. You, you end up a very narrow sliver of all of the potential of identity that you begin as. The first thing about virtual worlds and the way that they affect your life is that they allow you to expand out from that sliver. Or if you're a kid, continue and, um, with the kind of potential that you have as a kid as, instead of narrowing into a sliver. Because you're not restricted online to looking exactly the same way that you look or to being uh, uh, effectively only one person or having one group of friends or one business association. Um, so I think on the, on, on, the, on the very personal level of people's own identity, um, uh, technology uh, over the next 10 years as virtual worlds and as avatars um, will allow people to, um, to live a, a far more fulfilling life than, um, than in most cases people are able to do in the real world. Exciting. It would just be exciting. Limitless, boundless, um, open to everyone, um, universally acceptable, uh, universally accessible, um, uh, diverse. I'm going way over the one word. <laughs>